What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video and in today's video we are going over an animal that may still be there, may not still be there. Some people think it is, some people think it isn't. There's lots of places for it to hide. Uh, we're talking about the Florida's black wolf. Um, I don't know too much about this. I'm kind of hoping the article I found will kind of go into some history. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Uh, but yeah, so how about we go ahead and jump into this article and we'll figure it out. But before we get into that, guys, please remember to go ahead, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, follow me on all of my social medias, which will be listed at the end of this video. Drop comments down below with whatever videos you guys would like to see me cover in the future. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so as I always like to say, I don't own the rights to any of these articles. I simply use them to pass along information. If you guys would like to go ahead and go to kellyofthewild.com and show them some love over there and read the article for yourself, that's perfectly acceptable. But if not, let's just stick around and let's go through this together. So this says, Florida's black wolf, extinct or alive. That's, that looks like a pretty puppy. Hi there. Thanks for popping in to learn more about the Florida black wolf. Here are some of the questions that I'll be answering about this awesome animal. What is the Florida's black wolf? Is it a unique species of wolf, a subspecies of the gray wolf, or is it a coyote? Um, could it be a koi wolf? I don't know. Koi wolves are fun in their own. I probably need to do a video on them too because they got their own thing going on. Why did it go extinct and can wolves be reintroduced to the southeast? There has been much debate among biologists on the taxonomy of the Florida black wolf, but one thing is for sure, it existed and lived throughout the lower southeast of the United States until 1908, which is when it was declared extinct. Recounts of this animal are few, but the handful that still exist today point to a small framed light-footed wolf with large ears and a jet black coat, save for a patch or two of white on their chest and muzzle. They hunted in small packs like their northern cousins and typically were found in pine forests and prairie habitat, most likely hunting deer and small game. That sounds like a gray wolf. John James Audubon was one of the two most credible resources that secured the existence of the species. During his trek through the southern states in the 1840s, he painted a watercolor piece of a Florida black wolf galloping across a prairie hunting bison. And yes, bison lived in Florida way back when. Along with the Florida black wolf, a red wolf was also discovered on his, this trip, which started the debate on whether the black wolf would they, was a separate species from the red wolf or the same with a color variation. Um, and that happens throughout like a lot of it. Uh, wolves are wolves, you know, and they're like dogs. Like you can have like a German shepherds can all have different colors. So wolves can too. I mean, that kind of makes sense that they would have that argument to me at least. Canis lupus, American black wolf photographer, unknown. I wonder if that's real. I mean, it looks like it could be an old grainy photograph. I don't know. What do you guys think? I mean, I think it could be real. I think this is the picture, though. Yeah, that's actually really cool. Show a picture of him uh, running across and you got the bison in the background. We actually just found a bison skull today. In 1957, it was discovered by the International Commission of Zoological Nomenclature. A ridiculously long name meaning a group of people whose name species that the Florida black wolf along with the red wolf and gray wolf was actually not related to any known species or at least the relation could not be proven. This individual or sorry this invalidated all previous proclamations of the Florida's black wolf being a species of coyote or a subspecies of red wolf. Um, that's actually really interesting to me because that means that the uh, black wolf and the red wolf were like just different enough from the gray wolves that even like back then like this is before dna so they probably are all related in some way shape or form but these wolves were just distinct enough that back then they were like oh well these are just different species like today we might name them a subspecies of gray wolves but uh that's if they're still around which according to this article they might be so I'm really curious to see what the evidence is behind them actually being, you know, still there. The disappearance of the Florida black wolf is no surprise when you look at the perceptions people viewed wolves with. They were seen as dangerous animals who would hunt livestock, compete with settlers for wild game, and would attack the unsuspecting traveler. Sadly, what people of the time didn't see was the curious personality, courageous spirit, and family-oriented unit wolves represent. I mean, 
yeah, like back in the day, people just didn't think wolves were good. They didn't understand. Like to them, it was just they kill my livestock and that's all they do. So they eradicated them essentially just solely to make room because they were killing cows and sheep. And I mean, that, it's really sad, but that's kind of the fact of life. We did that across Europe too. So it makes perfect sense that whenever we got to America, we would just do that here. They evolved over thousands of years to be the perfect predator and were persecuted for what came naturally. In the end, they were outcompeted by humans. People used more resources, leveled forest growth, or forest for growth and cattle, hunted game to feed growing populations, and actively hunted all predators, the Florida black wolf included, alongside the Florida panther and the Florida black bear. Thanks to the ESA, Endangered Species Act, today we still have a small population of panthers in the southern half of Florida. Which still struggled, or which still struggled daily for more space to support a growing population, and a growing bear population throughout the state. Huh, I was right. However, this act came too late for the red wolf and black wolf in Florida. There are no longer any wild wolves in Florida, but there is a program to start introducing the remaining hybrids of the old red wolf population. This is in its this in itself is steeped in controversy because of their known mixed genetics with coyotes. For the red wolf, maybe one day it will step foot in pine forest of Florida again, but our black wolf is gone forever. Instead of mourning this animal though, to see this as an opportunity to educate, why are wolves important to an ecosystem? Why do they need to exist and how would Florida benefit from the reintroduction of wolves as well as the connection of a Florida corridor throughout the state that would allow for panther populations to expand. How can ecotourism become Florida's largest economy? There is much to cover, but if we, the people of this beautiful state, can forge a connection with our wild selves and understand why we need these apex predators in these wilds of Florida, then maybe one day we will deserve to hear the howls of wolves in the summer nights. Um, I personally think we should put them back. Okay, so that... That was a fun history, but it doesn't exactly cover what I wanted it to. So that last one uh, didn't quite have what I was looking for. I'm kind of hoping this one will, but this, if nothing else, it'll give us more information, I think. This is a little bit better of a uh, thing. I think this one's actually dedicated to the Florida Black Wolf. Um, if you guys would like to read this article for yourself, please go up to wolfstuff.com. And go ahead. If not, though, please just hang around, and we'll just read this all. All together. Camus lupus floridian, floridianus. The Florida black wolf, Canis lupus, lupus floridianus, floridianus, I don't know, is one of the subspecies of gray wolf. Oh, so now this, this one's saying it is a subspecies. So in the last one we read, there was arguments as to whether or not it was or wasn't a subspecies. This can canid was officially declared extinct in 1921, although it has not been seen in the wild since 1908. Its status was long controversial. As it was once considered a subspecies of the red wolf, the Florida black wolf is also known as the Florida wolf or black wolf. Is the Florida black wolf extinct? The Florida black wolf was officially declared extinct in 1921. Although it hasn't been seen in the wild since 1908, this wolf quickly became extinct due to eviction from its habitat and hunting. As a threat to livestock, a bounty was promised for every Florida wolf hunted. Thus, the number of individuals of the species Canis lupids florinius fell drastically until it disappeared completely in a short period of time. These hunting campaigns carried out in the 1900s led to the extinction of other wolf species such as the Cascade Mountain Wolf. Florida Black Wolf Description The Florida Black Wolf was a medium-sized species measuring between 21 to Measuring between 2, 1, 2, 2, 8 feet, 66 and 88 centimeters in height and weighing between 97 and 164 pounds. Its coat was gener generally black. So I'm guessing 8 feet was it standing on its back legs. Like that's the only thing that really makes sense to me on that one. Florida Black Wolf Habitat. He lived in the Maine and Ohio regions of Florida and Alabama. Records tell of that this wolf could be seen near St. Luca River in, or the Indian River Lagoon. His lifestyle was more in family groups rather than packs. Contrary to the vast majority of wolf species, this predator preferred to hunt in small groups rather than with a pack composed of many individuals. Their diet was therefore mainly composed of small rodents that did not require a horde of wolves to hunt prey. Canis lupus furinus also sometimes attacked deer. So the last one said they also hunted bison. So 
I mean, you're kind of getting mixed things on where you look here, but like that actually makes a lot of sense to me that they would hunt in smaller groups because Florida is primarily swampland. So having a large pack isn't necessarily advantageous to them. It's easier probably just to have smaller ones that you could like sneak up on prey easier. Okay, so it says, was the black wolf Florida a coyote? The black wolf of Florida was once considered a subspecies of red wolf, which also lived in Texas. A subspecies of red wolf, known as the Florida red wolf, also lived in Florida, but disappeared in 1921. It was believed that both species, instead of being a subspecies of the red wolf, were actually a type of coyote, which led to the change in their name of Canis niger. Sorry. However, this change was invalidated by the International Commission on Zoological Nomenclature in 1957 and declared that the Florida Black Wolf and the Red Wolf and Gregor's Red Wolf were in fact not related to one another. Well, guys, that was pretty much those articles. Um, honestly, I don't know on this one. I think they, I'd like to think that they're still alive, but in reality, they most of these, it seems like they the scientific community is well established that these particular wolves are in fact extinct. Um, I know I've heard about some sightings of them and quite frankly, Florida is a big state and it's got a lot of territory where humans just don't hang out at. Um, it's got very large things. I mean, the Everglades is huge. And they, since they were small and they fed on like small things, you, they, you wouldn't see like large packs, like it said. So seeing like maybe their packs are just really small now because there's not a whole lot of them. So you have like three or four individuals as opposed to like, you know, 10. And they're just hunting rabbits and stuff. I mean, how often do you guys see coyotes? Even living out in like, you hear them, and, but you don't really see them all that often. So, it, you know, sometimes maybe people are seeing these black wolves and it's a mistaken identity for coyotes. Also, probably the other way around, more than likely, people are seeing coyotes and they're mistaking them for, red, for these black wolves. Um, but you know what, guys? Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think they could still be alive? Do you guys think that they're just fully extinct? Um, have you guys think you might have ever seen one? I'd really like be interested in knowing anything like that. Uh, but like I said in the beginning of the video, guys, please go ahead, drop those comments down below, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, follow me on all of my social medias, which are coming up next, and I will see you guys in the next video.